The silver tip wetsuit was conceived for the every weather is swimming weather kind of swimmer. Whether you're an icy dipper, a long distance swimmer, or someone who particularly feels the cold much, this wetsuit is a little bit of luxury where you wouldn't normally find it. The three and a half millimeter neoprene on the chest and the back is there to really keep your core warm. And then the thinner neoprene around the shoulders and armpits, and then on the ankles and the wrists really helps with freedom of movement. It's a little bit thicker on the bum and the back to help with a really efficient swimming stroke and tired legs on longer swims. If you take a look inside the silver tip wetsuit, you'll find the thermal fleece lining. Not only does this make it easier to get on and off, but it means it traps the water inside a smaller space. Therefore, it can't flow around the wetsuit and it means you're gonna get warmer quicker and stay warmer for longer. Most of the neoprene on the silver tip wetsuit is glide skin neoprene. This reduces drag through the water and it also repels dirt, meaning it's gonna be a more efficient swim and it increases the lifetime of your wetsuit. It also reduces heat conduction, which means your core is going to stay a lot warmer than in regular neoprene. On the back, on the zip, you've got a long lanyard, which makes getting in and out of it on your own a little bit easier. You've also got a small pocket for valuables, which means you don't have to ask random passers-by for help when getting in and out of your wetsuit. On the neck, the shoulders, the wrists, and the ankles, you've got bright flashes of silver to really help you be seen in the water. And then on the bottom of the leg here, you've got a nylon face neoprene, which is a bit tougher and more durable and also reduces chafing behind the knee. The result of all this is a warmer suit that's really, really nice in the winter without compromising being able to swim in it efficiently. This means you can have year round swims in mountain tarns, Scottish locks and Norwegian fjords.